How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. Fantastic to have you here as always. And today I am having serious withdrawal symptoms from turning pieces of wood. So I decided to break out my original lathe. I say mine, it's my dad's lathe. It's a Farmer DSM 850, if that means anything to anybody. I don't know how old it is, when it was made, where it was made. I know nothing about it. It's got German writing on it and another uh, and a number of other languages. Who knows where this came from? Probably a farm sale 20 or 30 years ago. And this is the lathe that I cut my teeth on a couple of years ago. Uh, very soon reached its limitations. And just for fun, I decided to turn outside today as it was a glorious day, almost like summer, a little bit windy. But other than that, it was a lovely day. And we've got a piece of apple on the lathe. It's about five inches square, roughly. I think the biggest thing you can put on this lathe is about six inches. It's got a slight drop bed to it, but uh, not that it really makes any difference. So we're turning on the woodworm screw, such as it is. Half inch bowl gouge, and we're turning at 1400 RPM. It's a lovely piece of wood to turn. Super easy. A couple of cracks in it, but nothing major. Now I thought I'd try my luck at uh, putting this on the four jaw chuck, which never worked properly. So I've just cut a little mortise in the bottom and just rounding off the foot. Oh, that's a crack and a half, isn't it? What a lovely crack. And another one, and another one, and another one. And I brought the wrong activator. Onto the sanding. Straight in with a 240 grit pad and some Howard Feed and Wax. So I'm not going crazy, that's just 240 grit and then some Howard Feed and Wax. Make something nice and simple for a change. Pretty nice, I think. Okay, so we're onto the portion of the show where I get to showcase some of your work. And today, these lovely pieces come in from Kevin Totti. He's made some amazing little uh, hollow forms, pots with lids, and a bowl. Burnt Island Crafts is the name of his, uh, his operation. I'm not sure if he has a YouTube channel, maybe an Instagram. These are lo a lovely selection of pieces, so thanks very much for sending them in, Kevin. 
And if you want your work to be featured on the show, you can send your images to willmakeseverything at gmail.com. So it's time to take it off the woodworm screw and attempt to turn it on this four jaw, I believe it's called a scroll chuck, something like that. Now the reason I stopped using this lathe is because that chuck never worked properly from the first time I tried it and uh, after 18 months in the shed, guess what, it still doesn't work properly. I'm going to try it, but we all know what's going to happen. Place your bets now. What do we think is going to happen? That uh, refresh rate of the camera, really, you can see how off-centre uh, the bowl was on the chuck. Nearly lost it. Terrible, terrifying, stupid, fantastic. Okay, so we're just tightening it up as much as I dare. I didn't want to crack the mortise on the back. I think it's only actually being held by two out of the four jaws. Now, they might be adjustable. Uh, I don't know. I never really played with it. Hmm, what can we do about this? We all knew that was going to happen, didn't we? It's all I can think to do. Make it horrible. Mm. So, I uh, dug a nice big hole for the mortise. Just so I could get some more pressure, but it didn't help the centering any. It's still miles out. But at least we were able to attempt to hollow it. Fighting a losing battle with the weather at the moment. My hands are a right state, cracking everywhere. Super gluing up cracks all over the place. It's the nature of the beast working on a farm. Everything you touch is dirty. Oh, we crack on. So if you're wondering what those hoops are, hanging from those oak trees, they're not for horses to jump through, they are for our drone racing track. We're actually in the drone field at the moment. So we've got a number of obstacles that the uh, world-class drone racing pilots come and fly around. If you're interested, I'll um, stick the drone up and show you what that looks like in another video. You'll have to let me know. It was quite fun turning outside. I almost got a bit sunburnt standing out there. And the wind was going in the perfect direction. I didn't even have to wear my uh, face shield or mask. This 
So straight in again with a 240 grit pad. And then just a bit of Howard Feed and Wax to finish it off. that bit in the video. Well, I did put it in the video. Well, there it is folks. Get it in the light. Yeah, it's got a crack in it. But for basic equipment, I think it's not too bad at all. So for anybody that's starting out wood turning, I wanted to do this video just to show you that you can make stuff on very, very basic, old, knackered equipment. It can be done. I don't recommend it. If you can afford just a, a basic lathe um, that's a bit better than that, Farmer DSM 850-1, then I suggest you get something a little bit better. But it, uh, it can be done, so give it a go. I did tidy up afterwards. And here's a couple of glamour shots for you. So I got my fix of uh, wood turning for the day. So thanks everybody for following along. Thanks for everybody subscribing. I'm going to do an announcement about the giveaway tomorrow. Uh, so stay tuned for that one. It is in the pipeline. So thanks again and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.